Hi there and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm packing for an adventure. So what do I bring on this uh, adventure? I will reveal what later, so hang on. Uh, this is partly what I'm packing up for this adventure. And uh, I will start with this bag. It's essential that it is waterproof. So I have chosen my trusty uh, Moscomoto backcountry duffel, 40 liters. Uh, it works like a backpack uh, as well, not just a duffel. And that is very good on this adventure with this functionality. Uh, you know this bag and you can Google it on Moscomoto's uh, YouTube channel or uh, some of my older channels when I, or some of my older videos when I went to Norway last summer. It has a BB tail on the front that uh, could keep stuff that is good to bring. So we could just start with that one. <clears throat> First aid kit, really nice to have. A water filter, this is the Grail. Really, really nice. I have a video on that too as well, how it works. What I like with this one is that I just press it once and then I could drink very comfortable right out of this. Like a water flask. Not how to sip it through a filter. Really nice. Uh, yeah, some extras, lighting. Thanks Ulf for this one. A smaller tripod, always good. As you know with this uh, beaver tail, you open it like this. On this side, I have my necessary for toiletries, painkillers and things like that. Really great. Uh, as you know, this is a tent pole pocket. I actually have a top pole in there. Here you can store some maps, documents and so on. It could be really handy on this trip as well. What I keep in this backcountry 40 liter is my sleeping system. And you know that I like to camp with a hammock, right? Uh, I used to use the Amok hammock when I'm out for camping, especially with my motorbike. But this time it will be better with a tent. Believe it or not, it is my stove, a Trangia 25, with a gas burner. This includes a lot of stuff in my Trangia kit. You can look at my older Trangia videos if you like to see how that works. The Trangia 25 or 27 or whatever type of Trangia I have used in my earlier videos that is dedicated for the for this outdoor cooking system. Very, very versatile. Note, the, it is not the most lightweight, but that is not what this trip is about. Uh, okay, so get into the sleeping system. My thought behind keeping my sleeping system in one bag together with the stove is that I bring this as a backpack uh, to where I'm going to camp. Sleeping mattress, this is Amok equipment, the winter light. Even nice in summer because it's very comfy. It's really handy to have a tarp, especially when it's packed so small. It's a Skjold 10, also from Amok Equipment. One more mattress. This is the uh, Fuel XL Ultralight. And then we come to the core, how I will camp this time. With the tent, you could guess easily. It's a Hilleberg Allak 2. It's a very nice tent for, uh, for two persons. And the Alak tent is a dome model of tent. And that is also great on this trip. Just another dry bag from Moscomoto. Uh, really great to have for your laundry uh, to keep in there or other stuff as well. It's always great as well to actually use as a washer machine. You maybe have seen Thomas Hansen at his channel when he actually used it like that. Brilliant idea. Uh, pretend you have filled it with your t-shirts and uh, socks and underwear and so. You fill it up with a small amount of water and uh, detergent and you just shake it. So this is a great item to have. Always bring an extra dry bag. This is pretty much what I have. 
in this duffel. Uh, what else do I bring? Of course, sleeping bags. In dry bags, very important for me this time. Uh, these dry bags uh, has a air vent, so you could easily compress it. So this is two sleeping bags, three season. I like to have it if it gets cold at night, because it could. It's very warm now, but I don't know really how it will be uh, one week away. This is a normal gathered end hammock from Amok Equipment, the Segel XL. Really nice, holds up to 200 kilos. This is not for the sleeping system, it is for chilling at the day. Uh, or just has a chair in the at the campsite, sit in it, cook, chill, whatever. Really nice. To that, I may bring this camping chair as well. You know, this is the aluminum kind of camping chair with actually a really nice uh, backrest on it. Great. I will have. <laughs> The fishing rod with me. This is a five piece fishing rod. Really, really nice. It doesn't take uh, much space. I bought it actually for motorcycle camping trips. I always forgot it. And I, uh, you know, you have seen maybe, you maybe have seen some of the videos where I'm swearing about uh, not bringing the fishing rod. Perfect waters with uh, trout and so on. And you just pass them. Uh, Great, will not forget it this time. This is my bag for Michelin stuff, like uh, extra layerings, clothes and so on. Just walk through it briefly. I have an external bag on this one. A very, very durable rain jacket. That is always good to have with you, rain jacket. I've not seen rains for many weeks now. It's very dry outside. It actually is a fire ban, but that allows us to use camping stoves like this, uh, run on gas. Of course, you need to take precautions and uh, be very careful out there, especially in Sweden right now, probably with other places as well around in Scandinavia. It's very, very dry outside. Okay. Rain jacket, the adventure spec, very durable for rain jacket at this kind of adventure. But that's a great one. Uh, what do we have inside here? Like uh, toilet paper, could be good to have. Uh, a outdoor shirt, real nice. Fjällräven. You know as well that I like dual po purpose stuff. So this is a pillow and as well a thermal jacket, like a loft jacket. I have used it on my motorbike trips before as a pillow in my hammock. Great. And also a warm layer, as I said. Um, thermos, really great to have your excess hot water in the morning to keep for coffee the rest of the day. Not the small coffee this time, large coffees. Uh, you can also have cool drinks in it, like cold water during the day. Could be really handy on this trip as well. Uh, other stuff I have, a typical uh, microfiber towel. Takes a small place, but it's really, really large. Uh, really great to have. A warm layer again, but not that... Um, warm and tight like that loft jacket. It's very ventilated and many pockets and so on and a nice hood uh, for cold evenings maybe. It's a Garputan. Really, really nice material in this one and works really great for outdoor. You see I have some shorts on me. Garputan pants. Used to have them on motorbike trips. Uh, this is the legs for these pants, so shorts and pants. The water is warming up really great these days with 30 degrees outside. Bathing shorts. And yeah, Michelin is other stuff here, underwear and so on, and under layers. 
Another thing that I used to bring is my axe, as you know. A Grensforsbruk outdoor axe. It's a great axe, you have seen it. Maybe for some outdoor axe burgers. Maybe. We're just making stuff you do with an axe. And then I had another stuff with me. It could be that will be either the axe or the large sawmill knife that I got from a friend. Well, the belt actually, handmade for Christmas this year. Uh, handmade by a friend to Christmas last year. Uh, the only hang up on that gift was that I would give myself a very, very large uh, sawmill knife. This is a Norwegian sawmill knife, really typical for the Scandinavian style of sawmill knives. And it looks like this. And why did I compare these two for you right now? I don't know. But this one actually do very much over than axe do and more than that. So who knows? Maybe we will see some... Not an outdoor axe burger. Maybe a sawmill style kebab or something. I don't know. Could be. So you can tell me what, which one should I take or should I take both? <laughs> Comment on that one. Crazy stuff. All right. So what is this? Uh, something more. It will be Midsummer Eve and all you know that Swedes celebrate the Midsummer like crazy, like in the very, very old days still. The most important holiday and celebration of the year actually for us. So I brought a very special thing. This one, maybe I should demonstrate it for you. A nice little plant. It's Midsummer after all. Hell up, drink up, stell up. To that, four small cups, really handy. In the same package. Small surprise, that could be handy. Snaps visor i felt. You know, Swedes sing songs when they drink those schnapps and say skål. Really handy to have, so small surprise there in the packing. Don't tell anyone. Oh, almost forgot. Thermocell stuff, really great for this adventure as well. I expect mosquitoes. Uh, a lot of them. Okay, so what's happening next there? Two sleeping bags. Yes, I think you have guessed it. A two-person tent. Baby will go on this adventure as well. So that means even more luggage. A 25-liter Moscow Moto dry bag or a 40 liter dry bag with stuff or more, with clothes and everything like that. I have not showed you that we also need groceries and so on, uh, some of it at least. We buy groceries for the, for the stove, maybe we have breakfast for many days and then we as well store up with what we are going to eat every or every second day. But you know, 40 liters for baby's clothes maybe and the rest for the cutleries and uh, so on, and uh, the groceries. I think this was pretty much is what I will bring. It is details in this. We have come very far and you wonder what the hell is this? All right, so I will show you what we are going to do. We are going to take the boat. You maybe guessed it so far. Take it to Dalslands Canal, not far from here. It's uh, in the wilderness of the very, very beautiful county Dalsland. And there is a channel system there, a lake system there that is very popular to paddle. But we will go with the motorboat. There is also popular but larger ones. I do not have a sleepover boat, so to speak, or camping boat. It is an open boat for sports and fishing and such like that. So we will camp along this trip. It uh, will be for like seven or nine days, I don't know. 
out in the wilderness and of course beautiful stops as well uh, in these channel systems. Really, really nice. Of course, I will make a video of this and uh, post it later so you can see what's up. Hope you will enjoy that one. I will also show you a little bit of what I'm talking about here of this channel system. This is west of the large Lake Vänern in Sweden. And then you see we have a very, very large lake system here in Dalsland. So I will start down here and the channel have the channel have a lot of water locks up here in this system. So I will follow these lakes up here and there is a water lock up here. So I will actually go up to the county of Värmland as well. And then back through Gustav's Fors, really nice uh, motorcycle adventure place. Have a lot of tracks up there. Uh, continue up this lake system. Uh, actually very very close to the Norwegian border up here and then I will turn down follow the Norwegian border actually I probably will camp in Norway and then head back into Dalsland and Sweden and end up here. Well I almost forgot something that you might have been wondering about power bank. How will I manage the power? Well not the power bank I use on my motorcycle trips but uh, I will have this Jackery power station. This is the Explorer 500 power station. It has an inverter. It is 500 watt hours. Really handy. As I said, it's like a 12 volt car outlet. It is uh, USB ports, three of them. 230 volt outlet as well. It has a light. Could be handy at camp, I don't know. Uh, I've used it before actually on live podcasts in the woods where we have had beer testing podcasts with a friend out there. Me camping, Mike Oeva. Really great and nice to have. So, another, another nice thing uh, with this system is that we have the Solar Saga 100 watt solar cell. Really uh, nice to and handy to handle. You just pop it up like this. So this will actually be really nice to, to just have on the boat and recharge this system if I need to. Uh, ah, perfect for an adventure like this as well. The Jackery power station and the Solar Saga looks like this on the back with these stands that are built into it. It also have a bag with the wiring to charge the power station. And as well, there's also outlets in here for USB-C and uh, USB-A. So, packs down really easy. It's good that I have a lot of storage on that boat as well. One more thing not to forget, uh, Etsa. Our beloved dog will be with us as well on this adventure. So stay tuned for other motorbike uh, adventures, but uh, as well for this uh, uh, small motorboat adventure on Big Lake system. Essa, come on. Hey. Oh, er du med på film också? Ah, oh, duktig sig. Please comment below if you think it's a cool adventure or how you would like to do it, because this is a very adventurous area, nice to ride as well. Both, uh, actually the Trans-European Trail does not pass here, it passes north of the Great Lake here, but there, Trans-Sweden Trail, a couple of these tracks actually goes through here as well. I could recommend them. Okay, see you on the next one.